God. Oops. Oh, the music's there. Oh, we just don't hear it. We don't get to hear it? <laughs> oh, all right. What's up, you two? What's happening? It's a big day. Big corals day. in this tank. There's a, a lot bit, of corals in that tank. I like eight boxes, like big ones. That, that's the first time I've been there since you ever had a coral in there. And I was like, holy crap. All right, we're gonna tell, this, tell the journey, the story as to why there's so many corals in this tank all of a sudden. <laughs> you, gotta, uh, you gotta S or get off the pot. That's what they say. That's pretty much <laughs> it. I like point of no return. Uh, so you get to see a bunch of uh, the corals in there. We're still shaping this tank up. Uh, I got a bunch of fish coming. Mm. Like, I think in Four weeks, man, you're gonna see something truly amazing. God, you're going I'm, on I'm vacation hoping. and you're just gonna no. spend all time with your tank. It's true, we're gonna hit on that too, maybe. Awesome. All right, so, uh, I don't know, I, I think we'll just open up maybe with that full tank shot here. Uh, you guys can see, like, I don't know, this is a few weeks ago, by the way. I was gonna update these shots. You might, if you saw them on Facebook, some of these things, but uh, you know what? I don't know. Let's see what they look Let's like. see what it looks like. All right, okay. So now this tank is uh, filled with coral, like brim to brim. Uh, there's like one chunk over on the a left. A spot there. that doesn't have anything. Yeah, I'm waiting for LVs. I'm gonna fill. Oh out yeah, alveopora. Yep. Hard uh, to find, are they? Oh, you know, I, suddenly now that I want them, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for those of you who don't know, it looks very similar to uh, Gondiapora, but uh, it has it's, half as many fingers. Yeah, half as many fingers, and they're thicker. Yeah, yeah. There, there you go. Uh, all right, so that is uh, roughly what this tank looks like uh, as uh, of now. I, those, those that was taken a few weeks ago, so the corals aren't are totally open well, yet. It looks a little different today. Let's talk about the elephant in the room here. You've got pumps showing on the oh. top part of your tank. Okay, yeah, you know what? That's interesting too. Uh, so what I, I tried a few different things here. Uh, you'll see that on the right here, there are tuneses now. Yeah. Right? Uh, and they're aimed, I got the like, the widest angle uh, uh, tunes and nanos oh, I could yeah, find. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. okay. And they got the biggest mouth opening on them. Uh, I actually tried the gyre first, because I thought like, oh, a gyre is gonna be my right, you know, shoot High it across rate. the top. I put them both in, they're actually sitting in a box. Uh, Too much? They're just hideous, man. I just oh, couldn't, really? I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh. I, I like that shot so much, man. And then like two gyres across the top. Uh, I just, yeah. like I was about to have a meltdown. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I, like, I, I know it was the right flow solution, but like I just like was freaking out looking at it. I, yeah. just, I, I took them right out. I, I <laughs> All right, so, but the, the tunes work really good and because I can aim them, they're pretty wide flow. Yeah. And uh, you know, they have that little natural on off cycle. They're near and dear to your heart too. I mean, it's yeah. the 160 you started oh, yeah. on them and whatnot. You know, they're not an option they're I use not. all the time, but like, I, got, I don't know, every time I use them, I'm like, why are these not more relevant they're, to me? Because you can aim them. They're not like a tru all. obtrusive like you, most people would imagine, too. Uh, yeah. Like a blob of, a MP, uh, of an MP on the side of the tank is, if you, had, if you went 60s on that far end, would be more obtrusive than mm -hmm. those yeah, little tunes. Yeah. Uh, on that part, yeah. So uh, here's the thing, you're about to see uh, in like, I don't know, 30 seconds. You're going to see uh, a bunch of the coral shots as well, uh, little gardens that we made. Yeah, uh, but gardens. Uh, yeah, while we're on the pump thing, we might as well stick yep. there. Uh, so with the the pump, it's just like, you know, you can aim it where you want it to go. I, I'll, I'll be honest, like, you know, a lot of these things have, like, really cool modes, you know, reef crest, yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And, like, I love it on the MP60s in the back. I, and, you know, I... I you know, I have a hard time picking the one that I really like, but often I use the like uh, re or the, I think it's nutrient export. Oh yeah, mode. nutrient export mode. Uh, they, know, they they one goes go like this, on one goes like that, and then they go together. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like just kind of like causes more flow than less later on, yeah. and spins it different directions, and it's more kind of prolonged. Is what I like about yeah. it. I also kind of use the the pulses sometimes as mm. well. So uh, anyway, but uh, with the uh, tunes is, God, it's just so easy to adjust. It's like there's three little knobs on there. It's like how much you want the flow to be. Density wise, yeah. flow wise. How long do you want the pulses to be, mm -hmm. which is like two to 10 seconds. I kind of wish you could go a little longer yeah. than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but actually I use it less than 10 seconds now. I'll tell you why. <laughs> uh, and then how, like, how strong do you want the pulse to be, which is can be anywhere from off to 100%. Oh, if okay. it was 100%, then you might as well have no pulse. Right. Uh, I guess, yeah. it would also be 100%. <laughs> uh, but you know what? With the Euphilia, what I found is I don't 
actually want to hit it no. prolonged because it will start, you know, blowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually want to hit it with a little bit of pulse. It hits it, you can see it. And that was cool with the affiliates. I could literally see when the pulse hit and when it stopped. Mm. Hit and it stopped. Mm. And I could kind of tune it to where I wanted and then also tune it in real time with the little knob to how strong I want it. So both how far it goes and then how uh, hard it hits. Well, I mean, in, uh, if you guys haven't seen our uh, Powerhead Buyer's Guide, we actually, mm. this is something that we're learning over the last couple years, is the purpose behind each of these pumps and the flow patterns. And, you know, in that video we talk about, uh, you know, why would you want this wide tunes, this wide thing? And, and this is exactly the type of tank that you would use something like this in. It disperses immediately off of the, out of the pump, so you're not, you don't have this laser beam hitting your euphilia, which now really makes sense in your tank. Okay, so I'll, I'll be honest too though, like if this was a standard rectangle tank and I just didn't really care about the side angles all that much, mm. uh, the gyres would have worked good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, they, and they looked like they were going to provide good flow going over the top and coming down, but like I just couldn't get over that it, it destroyed one of my that favorite one views of the yeah. tank. Uh. You know, I don't know. So anyway, uh, it's interesting to note, I will tell you, I can bring any pump home or the whole place. Right? <laughs> They're all here. Uh, and uh, Tuneses. I chose the Tuneses here and I'm actually really happy with them. The only thing that maybe I will do is I might take the magnet off of the glass and then build something that it comes off the Euro bracing. So it just kind of goes a little bit into the tank and the cord kind of goes oh, up. Okay. Yep. And you won't have the little magnet on the outside for two reasons. One, it will look less obtrusive that way. Two, uh, my kids won't grab the magnet off. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we'll see. Uh, luckily, it's high enough right now they haven't grabbed it, uh, but they will someday for sure. Uh, all right, so corals. Uh, so this is what I did with this tank, right? Uh, I'm going to share before we, before we get to the coral shots, actually. Uh, I want to share why there's these corals in here yeah. for just a second. All right, so here's the thing, man. If you guys were following a few weeks ago, you saw me wavering on what I want to do with this tank, man. And, it, and it's 100%, my life has changed so much yeah. in the last few years. Like, if you guys have never had kids in your life, which is me up until a couple <laughs> years ago, my life was breeze, man. I worked my butt off all day long. And then I like went home and life was easy. Yeah. I didn't do anything, I do whatever I want to do. <laughs> I had a weekend and whatever. Yep. I don't know, man. Life was yep. really easy. Now with the uh, like a six month old, two year old and a four year old, like Ryan's never seen a ounce of my own time and I can't remember how long. <laughs> uh, so it's just like I, I, I what I do to the tank is I wake up on Saturday and Sunday, uh, somewhere around six thirty, seven, and then I go sneak down there and work on it for two and a half hours until everybody else wakes up. That's the time That's that I it. have. Once a week, know? twice right. a week. And then sometimes at night too, after dinner, I'll sneak down there and the guys are letting the kids play uh, uh, Switch and mm. while they're playing Switch, I'll work the tank. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's really hard, man. I'm like, I don't know, I just don't know what to do. And like, I'm talking to Elliot and Poor Elliot's has seen me flip flop what I want to do in this thing like eight million times now. Well, you're yeah. on that path of well, maybe I'll just keep fishing there because that's really what you have time for. And yeah, I was like, ah, right. oh, fish only. Yeah, right. And then I'm gonna like epic fish only, but <laughs> like I just don't know what to do. And then like, I think if you were paying close attention in that last video, you would have seen that I was about to go fish only. Yeah, right. And I kind of made the decision, and I kind of talked to Elliot, mm -hmm. like, what can I do to make this really cool fish-only tank? And then I went home, I had a couple of cocktails, <laughs> and I said, what the F am I doing, man? Mm -hmm. this, is, corals. this is insane. Like, I cannot do this, man. This needs, I need to complete the dream. I, like, I cannot cap out in the middle, it's man. Even, it's, you know, it's even funny that, uh, I th actually, Brock hit it right here on, on the head. He says, mad respect for opting for a full LPS tank. So many reefers get wrapped up in that SPS, wall to wall. And, you know, as many times as we, you know, our videos are kind of wrapped around, well, there's this SPS, wall to wall, and then there's everything else. You chose you have everything else, Pat. Yeah, let's show this first one here. This is like the Acan Garden. We'll give you a little taste of what this looks like now. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, what I did is I started buying coral, and I'll tell you why I bought a coral in just a second, but I just want to give everybody a little taste of these things. And so, like, I just started, you know, picking out coral that spoke to me. Yeah. 
And then, you know, I started to talk to people about gardens and I'm like, oh man, if you put gardens, you really get to see the different colors. Variations. And by the way, this is a shot with my iPhone, so it's not the greatest color and stuff at the time. This is but the, the A-can garden. Though. Yeah, it's just like, I got so many colors of A-cans in here and there's oh, some Blastos, Blastos down there. Yeah. I haven't finished the Blasto garden yet. Uh, but like, I'm like, ah, you know what? You can get all these so close to each other. And then when you get them close together, you get to see the subtle differences yeah, between each one. You appreciate one. them more. Yeah, like, and I'm like, I'm really excited about well, it. Well, like if this orange one was on the far end of your tank and then I had this red one down here, uh, I would be like, well, I, I, I don't hardly ever see the orange one because it's out of sight, out of mind. Well, and also, like, you just don't get to see how great that orange one is unless you see one that's a little drabber next to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. And then you can see ones that are, like, orange outsides, green insides versus orange outsides and red insides. Who knows? I like the mix of uh, bigger, fuller colonies and your standard, like, three-head frags. Yeah, I was, trying, I was trying to mix it up, you know, like, see kind of how things go. All right, so... Here, here's what happened, man. Literally, I was sitting there, like, and the cocktails were for real. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what am I doing? How can this? Like, how can I gonna possibly do this? Mm. I, this is gonna be a reef tank, man. And this is how sometimes we talk about a lot of stuff here. And sometimes, what I will do is create a point of no return. Right? It's just like the discussions all, are done, all or nothing. Right? Like, so in this case, I could have gone fish only. Like. Throw mm. a couple line fish in a eel, and then you'd be there. done. Yeah, I don't that know. It's now go. fish only take. There's no, no going back. Okay, so I came to work the next day. I went over to uh, 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 the uh, Route 66 website mm. and I ordered, ordered 10 grand in coral. Oof. Yeah, I just like I'm creating a point of no return. We are this. I'm putting these things <laughs> in the tank. This is gonna be a reef tank. And like this boat is sailing, man. <laughs> like, I, I don't want to talk any more about what I'm gonna do other than this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> That's it. Right? <laughs> okay. Well, how'd you decide on LPS only then? Well, so when we first talked about it, we were like, all right, so let's make this one pane LPS. Yeah. Let's make the other pane, you know, LPS or uh, SPS. Uh, SPS. And so. Like, I really like that idea, like creating zones and especially the conversation about, you know, like mixed tanks that are actually really hard to do. It's mm. kind of hard to create an environment for euphilia that right next to it in Acroporia also likes because the light's different, the flow's different. Yep, yep. And like, can you get a, a, where, an area where the like, survival is uh, achieved? Yeah. Thrive? Mm, yeah, yeah kind of, you know, but like not at scale, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so anyway. I bought a bunch of coral and I figured, you know what? I'm gonna, this was my first thought was, is I'm gonna fill out the LPS side. I'm gonna, just gonna wall to wall this thing. We're gonna instant tank it. Yeah. We're gonna make this thing awesome. And then I'm gonna go buy tons of little frags one by one uh, for SPS on the other side. And so I'll have something for me and my family to look at and enjoy. And then the little nerdy end of me can go around the other side of it yeah, and yeah. enjoy the stick row out, right? It looks so good. But sometimes, man, you just get caught up in your own joy and uh -huh. like uh, inspiration. And so I kept buying corals. And so I kept buying them from Route 66. And then I also started picking them up from I, all, a lot of those A cans I got from cherry corals. Oh, yeah. And you know, often like that was full like retail. And by the way, this is one of the times where I paid your own, my your, own money your, for yeah. all of the stuff, yep, right? Yep, yep. So often like vendors will like, oh, here, we'll throw some corals. But you know what happens when they do that is like, they send me a bunch of boxes of coral. And they're all cool and stuff, but I didn't pick them out. You're, yeah, it's not curated from you by you. No, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and so in this case, man, I shop for myself, and like, I don't, I don't want like anybody telling me what to get, mm -hmm. or, or, or I just, I don't know. It's just my own tank, my own house. There you man, go. Right. That makes sense. And so it's worth it to me just to pay for it and not have that kind of thing involved. So, even I started buying some retail. So I bought some from uh, Cherry Corals. Mm -hmm. I've actually never shopped with them or even know them. They're uh, aren't they out of? Um, I think they're out of Michigan or Wisconsin or somewhere. They're in one of the our oh. area up north mid midwest okay well i gotta tell you all the photos the corals come in and they look exactly like the photos so mm. bravo to cherry coral uh because they do have nice the, stuff yeah all the little a can frags they bought looked identical like sometimes you're like uh, well i guess i can kind of see where that was coming mm. from like no it just looked exactly like what i bought so uh, bravo <laughs> to nice. them i paid extra for that kind of service but they collected all of the little frags in an area for me it was worth it yeah but also i uh eye-catching coral so this, oh, these guys yeah. are wholesalers. They yep. do really awesome work. So, uh, you know, 
If you're wondering where I get these corals, sadly, you can't buy from uh, Route oh, 66 catching. or eye catching. But yeah. we can do is ask your store to order from these places mm -hmm. because, I don't know, both of them do really good work. <laughs> uh, so uh, I, I started ordering all these corals in there, and then I, I ordered a lot of them, and I was really trying to create these gardens. And again, for all those people out there, the gardens, I just, I'm totally sold on it. You get to, it becomes a collection event now. Yeah. You know, I get all these AKNs, I get all these like, torches. I already have that color. Yeah. I already have that, that, that strain. I already have that morph. Yeah, I'm hunting for different shades yep. Of, yep. Uh, of torches and stuff now, you know. Yeah. And I just, I don't know, I just, I'm super excited about it. <laughs> so, like, when I started really building it out, and, like, and, I, and I ended up kind of going around the corner a little bit because I got so much, and then I'm like, you know what, man? I've never had a really epic LPS only tank no. that's wall to wall. I'm gonna lean in. We I'm just the, gonna go with it. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna pack this baby full. Yeah, and it's like the LP or the uh, uh, um, ULM LPS tank attempted. Never did really get there. Never really did fill out as much as we had hoped Not for. This scale. Not to this scale. And I have, I have to say that I've never seen like an, an entire big giant tank dedicated to like LPS like this too. Yes. And, and it's like, I, when I was going around, uh, you start at one end, you just kind of like, oh, I'm in the blast or I'm in the A can zone, and then you go around, and you're like, oh, cool, I'm in the torture and euphilia zone, and then you're like, oh, I'm in the Ghani zone. It, mm -hmm. It's really, it, it really is exciting. Yeah, so I'll show you guys some videos. So uh, let's we'll start going through these zones, actually. Let's just go through them. So let's show the ACAN one again, uh, just to get everybody a refresher. So this is I, I this is kind of the left side of the front tank, and I wish I started out farther so you could kind of see. But, uh, you know, again, man, I'm just looking for all of these different color variations of all of these different coral. And, you know, in this case, I didn't leave myself a ton of room for expansion, but uh, I will find areas as I find really cool ones that add them in. Uh, and it's been really cool. Uh, all right, hey, there's a, a comment here. Oh, uh, uh, Blastos and A-cans, uh, can you put them together? There's people saying, no, you can't put them together. Well, I have one in there, actually. I, yeah, somebody was saying <laughs> there that you have it on the Yeah, I on have the one in there that I accidentally glued over there. But uh, uh, that one right there, that little green guy. Oh, uh, yeah. On the right end, yep. right there. So uh, probably they to probably them. can't touch each other. And, and I found that, that Blastos generally look or do way better almost in, in the dark. In that shadow, dark area. Yeah. Yeah. Under so the ones you see, shadow. The ones you see underneath the A-can garden mm -hmm. are just thriving under in there. In fact, I had a big colony of them there down there that uh, was in the shadow, and then it got bumped out into just LPS light mm -hmm. intensity, and uh, like it, it. it wiped out the half that got exposed huh. to light. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I saw a fan say this once uh, on Tidal Gardens, and he said, Blastos like almost being like in pitch black, mm. and I think he's right. Oh, uh, yeah, they seem to do the best there. Uh, and so, <laughs> thank you, Thin. <Thana. laughs> uh, and so uh, that's that one. The next one is the Euphilia Garden. So maybe you pull that one up. Oh, this oh, is a brain guy. Scolies. Uh, so we had Scolies here. We uh, I so I got a bunch of. These. I haven't figured out exactly where to mount all of Look those. At those. Yeah, you know. And this is one I can't wait to really start to collect. There's so many cool variants uh, of those things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, Tra I got a bunch of trackies in there. Trackies and wells. Uh, well, I think I had like one well so so far. Yeah. And then in here. Those bower bonkies? Uh, no, 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 no. These are just lobos. Lobos. Yeah, yeah so yeah, like yeah, lobo yeah. land, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Oh, is that a chalice up there? There's a chalice hidden behind in there that's yeah. going to grow out into the center that I placed. Ah, cool. But yeah, so I got all these different like variations of lobos in there. I got some trackies. I got uh, a welso. I got a bunch of the scolies. Is there one in there called the euphilia? Oh, that is the... Ah, ah, there, there we go. go. Okay, so this one, I grouped together all the frog spawns together. I grouped together all the hammers together. Torches. And I grouped all the torch together. So these are a lot of the uh, frog spawns. There's the octo spawn in there. You can see, again, the different colorations and, and variants of each one. Yeah, really subtle golds, oranges, then your neon vibrant greens, purple tips Now you got all your hammers. I, I'll be honest, man. Uh, it'll be really interesting to see how well all these wall hammers do. But I... 
I'm going to give it my best shot, man, and try to keep these guys uh, alive. Wallhammers do have a, a reputation for not doing well. Mm. Uh, but you know what? We're going to find out together, <laughs> man. Uh, then I got all these torches over here and all these different colors. And, of course, the camera's not picking them all up as well as I'd like because some of these things are really, really cool. Yeah. Right? Peachy. Uh, yeah, peachy and gold. Yeah. And, Gosh, yeah, so like really metallic -y, you know, gold. Those are good size, too, for what you picked up, like, colony-wise. Yeah. All right, so that was the affiliate. And then also what was a surprise area for me. Ghani land. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? uh, the Ghani Aporia land is where I'm actually finding like some of my greatest joy here. You know? I love these. Yeah, I mean, some of these got longest, like impossible polyps. Yeah. And just super, super bright fluorescence. So you went to. Um uh, no, uh, or not to, to New Wave, but the day before I went to New Wave, and when I showed up, she said, "Oh, Ryan was just here yesterday, and he bought she bought me here. He bought oh. me out of all that. Look at the polyps on know, that. Look at it, dude. Oh, it's that almost looks awesome. like GSP. I but know, dude. That is a that is a gorgeous. What I need county. is macros of some of these because they're yeah. absolutely incredible when you see them. And I need to get better color. Uh, so we're, we're gonna bring a real proper camera over soon yeah. uh, and get uh, all the real shots of this stuff, but. Like this has actually turned mm. out to be one of my favorite areas of tank. I wish, kind of wish I didn't put it in the back. And that's why the on the, on the flip side of this is actually blank. Oh, right for uh, Alvi land. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it into Alvi land, <laughs> right? Alvi Apora land because I just turned out that I love this. Is actually, I think I might like these more these than might uh, be the your Euphilia. favorite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know. everybody they has their, like their Euphilia, favorite. They but they've got two. They've got these tubes and uh, the skirts on the end of the two. This is really cool. Yeah, I'd, I'd, especially those super long The uh, really polyps. long ones. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I haven't I, seen any like that before. That's actually this the, when is, I looked at it in your tank. I said, that's the first time I've ever seen them like that. I can't wait to just collect these uh, and just pack in as many as uh, like I could ever possibly <laughs> fit. And even, you know, if your collection, you know, sometimes what you do is you sell your collection, right? Yeah. So you, you collect and then, you know what? Five of these just aren't up to snuff anymore. Let's pull them out and go find five find some cooler new ones. ones, right? Uh, yeah. uh, and so, I, I don't know. You know, that's kind of where the tank is going. You mm. know, uh, and I, I, I knew I'm just like in my DNA, man. I knew I just didn't want to do this fish only tank. Yeah, right? yeah it's yeah. one of the things you haven't seen a lot of fish in there, and you're gonna see that change too. <laughs> uh, I just my my lifestyle wanted a fish only tank mm. my heart didn't and after a couple of cocktails my heart wins every time <laughs> i just needed to listen with it i just needed to listen to it and take uh -huh. it uh and i did that and i just created this uh, like point of no return well the, the way that aquascape was built for your tank and it was it, it was built for corals and rainbow gardens of everything you can imagine type stuff and i mean i can see a whole bunch of really cool fish swimming in and out of the aquascape but now watching the fish the reef safe fish swimming out of the rainbow of colors and hiding in different places uh, i think you'll i will get 10 times more joy out of it when i go look at your tank it's going to be absolutely stunning i just can't i mean this this feels like I mean, I, some, sometimes life just takes you in places you just didn't expect, man. I expected this to be an SPS tank mm -hmm. uh, and half of it. I expected it. And I don't know, man. You just follow your joy. Mm. You know, you just follow the things that excite you. And this is, you know, what excited me in the end. And, like, maybe you could show that full tank shot for a lot of people who probably didn't see it in the beginning. Uh, you know, I, I had one that wrapped around it. I don't know where it went. Uh, but, like, you know, the tank... You can see where the lack of fish here is actually. Yeah. Uh, when, I, when you get all the that fish into it, it's really it. going to come alive. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, like, you just don't know where your joy is going to take you. And this tank, literally, I mean, I would, would have never thought I'd say this before, but this starts to feel like the accumulation of uh, 17 years of briefing now for me. Like, it's a brand new direction. It's a brand new thing that I haven't done before, and I'm doing it in a way I've never done before, yeah. and I'm really excited about it. Did the uh, addition of the sand kind of help drive you towards this type of tank also? Okay, so... Because you lost two pumps at the bottom. So, yes and no. Yeah, yes, I, uh, yes and yes. Yeah. Uh, so, what happened is also, like, while I'm filling it out, I'm really starting to 
The flow is the biggest challenge. Lighting, no problem. Right, right. right. You can, I can light it, no problem. Mm -hmm. But like, man, if I get high flow, all it's going to redo is push it over here. Yep. And it's going to return on the other side. Yep. So if I get tons and tons of high flow aimed at each other over there for the SPS, it's going to spit out over on the other mm -hmm. side. And I can already see now like that the euphilia just isn't going to like that. Right. You know, in fact, even in some of these photos, it's going too fast. Uh, and so uh, I just like, you know what, man? And, and I say this over and over and over again, like, you know, mixed tanks are actually the hardest thing you can do. Yeah. And by hardest, it makes you like want to go achieve it. Right? <laughs> But it's also like... So much to think about, so many variables. If I'm caring about the animals, I'll just create an environment in here where they're going to thrive to the best of my ability. Yeah. And it's actually create an environment where these things thrive to the best of my ability instead of trying to like, you know, make, make something fit, yeah. you know, that yeah, yeah, just yeah. doesn't naturally want to fit. <laughs> Corals that, you know, live in tidal zones, there's tons of flush and water constantly and really high light. Mm. like don't do the same thing as a coral that's found 40 feet deep and just works, you know, lives in like low light and slow moving current. Yeah, you it's know, hard to like recreate long, that in a box. Yeah. I did, to make both of those things happen in the same box, yeah. can it be done? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, will it be done good? Probably. Can it be done exceptionally well? It's tough. I don't know. There's, Some people, sure. There's a way somewhere out there. I don't know. Yeah. You know for me, so it was a mix of like kind of accepting, you know what? The animals will do better, uh, and you know what? I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, man. I just keep ordering the stuff. I'm like, when I was ordering the stuff off the sites, I'm like, I was following my heart to yeah. the things that get me excited. Mm -hmm. And bravo to actually for those you could, probably most people don't know, but Route 66 has this thing, uh, and they open up the coral site at like 9 a.m. Oh you know? yeah, at 9 a.m. Here is all the corals that we have. You have to click them as fast as you can and buy them within 10 minutes. So you don't buy them, they're all gone. Oh, and it great. works on me like nothing else. Man. I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to miss out. <laughs> so bravo, bravo to Eric. <laughs> oh, uh, Kurt, uh, I think somebody pointed out that Cherry Corals is like New Jersey. So I probably got that wrong. No, oh, all right. I talked well, to him before. Hey, honestly, man, I don't, I don't buy from very many retail sites where the coral looks identical in person as it did on the website. So bravo to whoever's running Cherry Coral. They did a great job, and great. they sent me a lot of really awesome stuff. Oh, hey, I see Greg Carroll there with smiley face. Oh, yeah, Greg. Welcome to the Reef Pack. Uh, Reef Pack. The BRS Reef Pack. Zero, zero, one. The very first <laughs> the member very first of the member. Reef Pack, Greg Carroll. Greg Welcome Carroll. aboard, man. Uh, I'm so excited to have him. We'll talk about that another time, yeah. another conversation. But uh, if you haven't seen already, we're opening the Reef Pack. BRS Reef Pack. I don't know. It was, it was closed in, like, what year? So we had a BRS Reef Pack uh, group that had discount codes and stuff. There was only, like, six of them. And that was, like... Five years ago, five years or ago, so. I don't know. Yeah, kind of went into oblivion. Bring it back. It did. We brought it back, but this time probably with a lot more people. <laughs> uh, it'll be fun. Welcome aboard, zero member zero zero one, Greg Carroll. Uh, okay, so uh, also uh, what has happened to this tank most recently? We said we we're going to talk about it uh, in the live last week, so I should share. Uh, I changed out the lighting. Yes. So I changed out the disguise, and you might say. Oh, well, of course, so, you know, they sell these things. They're going to swap, swap it out. This is my own house, man. So that's, you know, I don't know. Uh, but like, I got to tell you. You can put anything on this thing if you want. Yeah, I don't know, man. So like, am I motivated by what's new? Sometimes, because I'm a gear junkie, nah, admitted. Uh, no question. <laughs> uh, but I'll tell you, man, we thought out that light solution with all the reef brights and the kessels in it. Mm -hmm. And it achieved mm -hmm. the exact goal I was looking for. I mean, filled in the light everywhere. The shimmer was perfect. Uh, like, I just like, oh man, yeah. this is, if I've ever seen a win, it was this Kessel's fill light. And it was probably because it emulates my favorite thing, which is the T5s uh, and Kessel's, uh, yeah. but I don't have <laughs> the T5s anymore. So that's awesome. You get like that brief bright pop from these things. Here was my problem. Every time, and you might've noticed I was like on Facebook, I was trying to like, you know, do little videos in the morning yeah. and stuff. It was such a pain in the butt to like change 12 lights to a setting well, that works and then I forget to turn them back and yeah well between you know changing you have to you're changing the kessels to it looks and then those heavy actinic reef strips you have to either dim them down or shut them off or do something else yeah and then like the dimming portion of it it is all through 0 to 10 volt mm. and it just was like Act for, for lighting the aquarium, like if I just want to grow coral in it and show it to uh, my friends and family that come over, 
Epic win would never have changed anything. Yeah. No question. Yeah. Okay, but the problem is, is I actually want to film on this thing. I have a unique need uh, as a YouTube guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, and so uh, I want to actually share this journey with other people and change the lights out all the time and all those lights just sucked. And so we changed it over to four castles or four uh, Neptune skies and uh, two castles. Mm. Uh, it's only six lights now and it's just way, way easier to mess with. So I think uh, there's a video of it here. You can see, uh, we'll just share that real quick. So you can see that- Skies. I took off the, the hood panel so you can kind of see, but there's four, you know, big Oh, did you, big you got your Kessels mounted in the middle. Yeah, so the So Kessels, when I last left, we tried to mount the Kessels in between each row or in between the two of the Neptunes of the skies. It just, it didn't spread the shimmer out. The shimmer was really weird that way. So I had to spread them out and I put them in between here. So there's that. She can show a couple of the stills too. So this is just what it looks like. Uh, and I haven't adjusted the lights for in, the, in these photos in a way that you can see in the tank really right. well. But that was one of the benefits of it. And you'll, you can see that in the video behind us, actually the tank right behind us right now. But it, that it, I can set it up so it looks really good without having to mess with the lights and be in it at the same time. Yeah. Uh, you can actually see a little bit of a hint of it here, but uh, and that that is one of the biggest benefits I think is mm. from a, somebody who likes to you know share the journey and take pictures and stuff to not have to go get your little yellow lens and crap and oh, just yeah. walk up and take a picture of it and even behind you and be yeah. in it and not have all the walls be yellow and it's everything. Really good for that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this tank right here looks like that right there uh, in the screen. So, and though this one's lit by the skies as well. So. I, I don't know. I swapped out the skies. I, uh, I mean, if, I guess somebody out there is probably going to ask, like, are you happy with them? Well, you I mean, you're one. You're already in the ecosphere of the of the apex. So when it comes to you know making have them do whatever you want to do, programming them all that, it's super easy. There's only four instead of twelve or however mm -hmm. many you had before, eight or what have you. Uh, and then just a couple, cause, because you like this, I like the shimmer of just the skies alone, but you like the actual little extra shimmer and you only need two Kessels to achieve that in your whole tank. Okay, so in this case, you know what it really ended up like? Is it ended up like, they look very, very T5-like. Oh, they do. Yeah. And when like, they first got on this one, we all stood back and goes, if you had to guess what was light in this tank right now, what would you guess? And we were like, T5s, because yeah. they were, Flat. It takes out the shimmer, or it takes out the the There's shadows and everything. Subtle shimmer in there, but a little bit. But it, it, like you can see, it's just a blanket of light, and that that's kind of what I mean. Like when you see it, you can just see like it doesn't have that super high contrasty pins of light intentionally. And then when I added in my favorites, the Kessels for their shimmer, man, like all of a sudden I just tuned those things, and I could like you know what. I want to That's look. my shimmer. Yes. <laughs> this looks like snorkeling. You know, like, and I, I, I know, I know, I'm like a shimmer junkie. Yeah. Uh, I, like most people are not in the same place as me, but I literally wanted to look like I was snorkeling, man. Mm. And this did it. It did the T5 thing, and I would just be able to tune it perfect into exactly <laughs> where I wanted it to be. And so, the answer is, man, I'm actually really, really happy with it, and I'm happier because I don't have 12 lights to maintain mm -hmm. in there. I don't have, you know, it wasn't just 12 lights because it was 12 lights and like 8 million cords because I had three of those zero to 10 volt yep. things that have yep. like three cords off of each one of those. Each one had a power source of its own. Yeah, dude, it was a lot, a lot of stuff. And like, there's just so much stuff to fail. 12 lights, three zero to 10 volts, an extra PM1, you know, like, uh, or the zero to 10 volt the VDM. VDM. Yeah. It was just so much stuff on there. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, it was it like, did I achieve the creme to the creme? Yeah, but like, did uh, it's just a lot of stuff. And I want to say one thing here too is, you know, I, you might have picked this up last week too, but uh, I made Terrence send me six. And I'm like, dude, I, your pitch about one every three feet or whatever, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you tell that to somebody else. Because uh, I've heard that a lot before. And like, I don't know, it just never materializes. And I still don't think if it was an SPS, I know if it was an SPS tank, I you would do done three. Six. But after we put the two in there, I'm like, I don't know if you need more. They're like, why would, why would I put this other one in, man? Yeah. I, well, and then you tested, no. and then we tested par, and then we're adjusting, it's, it's dim, even, you know, uh, dumbing, dimming them down and adjusting, and it's even across the whole thing yeah, with I'm four. Like, yeah, I'm like, yep, yep, yeah, it's the same. I, 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 there's no reason. 
<laughs> so I don't know. I was wrong in this one, man. The, the two, and it's not true six feet in this case. It's like five and a half feet. Oh, yeah. And uh, yet, and and also, I'm a little ways away from the wall on one of them, so I'm not really worried about it yep. over there. But so just edged in, and I just decided two or four of them was enough. So I only got four lights now to mess with, and two of the the Kessels for the color and shimmer. Easy and, uh, I It looks great. I, so if you're asking me if I, if I'm happy with it, I am happier. Hey, you, here, you know one thing I really like. What's up? Sorry, man. I really like is the the reef brights actually kind of give little. There's so many of them. They it oh, it's like almost a static. It's all the same color. Yeah. But it's kind of just, just a little bit of static yep, in it. Yep, right. Yep, yep, yep. There's so many lights. The 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 sky doesn't do that. So what I get is a like a really true, well blended mm. look that doesn't have anything distracting in it. I'm. Uh, the reason I'm happy with the four skies and two castles versus all the the other stuff is installing them was way easier oh than all the courts. We were up there mounting lights and lights and figuring out how to do the reef brights and making it all fit and work. And then when it came to this one, we took a rail, a couple brackets, bolted right in, done. That's <laughs> funny. I, I was thinking <laughs> about like how people like spend a year building a house and then it takes a day to tear it apart <laughs> underground. <laughs> it was the same thing. I spent like. A day plus yeah. rewire, like hiding Chasing all of those wires. If you follow Facebook, you saw those pictures. <laughs> like a, all the power bricks mounted, perfect. Yeah. We and got this lighting situation done in the in the hours? morning till noon. Yeah, yeah, like two hours, man, into mm. the whole thing. You know, from end to end mounting, you know, like. And it looks great. Under yeah, too. I. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It was a it was a lot lot easier to do. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know, man. So like. Uh, I will tell you that uh, uh, we're marching forward, man. So I'm looking for some LVs. I'm looking if for some fish. Anybody knows where to get some LVs? Yeah, uh, there's um, Route 66. I'm gonna be pounding on 9 yeah. a.m. Man, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a new fish. Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I got a couple new fish in here. Uh, this is what we call our ick tester here. Oh yeah. Hit so uh, Elliot sent me this to make sure. I mean, we can go do one of those PCR things if we want, but like. Hey, just like before, send some other fish. Let's, if 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 uh, if my tank has an ick problem through all the UV Give and somebody, whatever, send me somebody who can tell me. Yeah, he says like, dude, the the blue hippo tank is gonna tell you for <laughs> sure. Uh, he, has, he has not shown any signs of ick, <laughs> so we're marching forward. Uh, we added some file fish in there just in case there's any aptasia that came on the top nice of rass. those things. Uh, the other is that wrasse in there that we you just passed by, Dave. Is that Scott's oh, there, fairy yeah. wrasse? No, that's just a, uh, no, a uh, lineatus. So oh, okay. Oh, yep. yeah. yeah. Uh, so many of those are hard to keep straight. Yep. So what we were seeing with the lineatus is whether or not the Johnson's wrasse was going to attack it like it did last time. Oh. And for whatever reason, this time, nobody's none of the fish care about any of the new fish, thank God. Uh, Johnson's wrasse. Yeah. So yeah. I had two, right, and one jumped out, sadly. Uh, but, uh, screen that top, everybody. Yeah, screen that top, man. And I, don't leave gaps. It was like a one-inch, man. <laughs> I left open, and it jumped out. Uh, and uh, this is like a, oh, a purple file yeah. fish that he's going to send me. So this is coming soon. And he's like, dude, you can't keep the top off for more than 13 seconds because these guys <laughs> jump constantly. God, but it's gorgeous. It, Not Photoshop. It's unreal. So Elliot at Marine Collectors has really helped me out, man. I, I, I pester the guy that all the time. Is gorgeous. Uh, he's actually flying some fish out or uh, in his lap next to Minnesota. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> next Friday. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm very, very, very excited about where this is going. I just want to throw the, a couple of these things in as a, a hint as to some of the fish that are coming but there's like are you gonna is he gonna bring some big ones too some show pieces he told me he's got 30 fish yeah uh, kind of waiting for me and he just starts sending them in batches so yeah, if you could get a unicorn tang that's got the big old nose oh, off yeah. of it and they just get to be huge mm. we are working trying on to, a bunch of fun stuff trying to live my own dreams on yours there's a couple of angels coming next week ah, yeah. how do you feel about that with corals uh, these ones uh, don't eat corals. Okay. They're from eight million feet down. Oh, uh, and, oh. and they're white with oh. black masks on. If you know yeah, what that is, I'm everybody. very excited about these guys. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Things are coming, man. Uh, like things are really coming together. So uh, this is, if you can't tell, man, I made the right decision <laughs> for myself. I, I don't know. Like I wasn't. I was on a journey somewhere, man, and it just. 
you just follow your heart along the way yeah. and you're like, man, this is going to become the most awesome LPS tank I've ever done. So getting back to your lack of time to do all this, but now you're talking about add more corals and add more fish. You're going on vacation. Now you're going to get time to actually oh. work on this thing. Yeah, so the, I'm going to go on vacation. My vacation is stay, I'm gonna stay at home. <laughs> so last time I had a vacation is when the... the uh, the N NPS rock or the oh yeah uh, not NPS talk the uh, uh, negative space uh, aquascape NSA that's where you picked up how to do that yeah I was just like farting around with rock in my driveway and I was like oh yeah I gotta do this for the next four <laughs> days uh, so now I have a whole month of that actually so yeah. I'm gonna take the month off and connect with my family uh, and also with the tank. And I'm going to share uh, where this really goes in the next uh, month. But I, I think at the end of the month, you're going to see something Ooh. really, truly amazing. So I don't know. I continue uh, to, to progress. <laughs> uh, so actually, you're going to see uh, Randy and some other people join for lives you're for the do some next lives four or so. Next four weeks. totally new. So you guys will have to see that. I don't know what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about some good stuff. Something cool. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a, a few things on here. So Mike Waddell, 20 bucks. Appreciate it. Oh, oh thank and you very this, much. Uh, name one of the trachies, Mikey, please. All right, Mikey, it is. I'll find one. All right. There we go. Mikey. Uh, Rob B, 10 bucks. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Man, outbidding. Funding, funding the tank. <laughs> this outbidding uh, Battle OCR for naming rights. And Battle, o, <laughs> Battle OCR says uh, you paid nine ninety. Uh, gave us nine ninety nine. so two cents less than Rob B. And this he is wants the highest to, earning it's like, video of all time. They want you to name them after them. Battle OCR says to uh, to name a cool elegance in there after after Battle oh, OCR. Elegance is definitely on the way. <laughs> I, that's one of those ones I'm nervous about. The Cataphilias are. Yeah. I've, I've always had a hard time with them. You know, but I see There's so a big, many really nice one up behind us here. Just awesome one here. Yeah. I see really healthy ones at Jen's store all yeah. the time. Yeah, she and does a great job with them. You know what? I'm gonna take the the uh, jump. I'm just gonna wait until. I'm just like really happy with all the things that are going and find a spot I, will, for I will, I will, there'll be a, uh, a garden of those as well. Oh, wow. Uh, and then Mike Waddell said five bucks again. So oh, awesome, Mike, man. Thank you very much. Everybody. Setting up a similar tank to Ryan and would love to hear how Ryan is, I'm going to see this really small print here, is deploying the sky in castles going uh, with the same type of lighting in, in Virginia. Mike's uh, doing basically the same thing. Uh, you, you know, saw I really know. Uh, yeah, four. It's, it's simple. You put them in there and uh, get a par meter. Uh, exactly. If you don't get the par meter, it's silly. I, uh, by the way, uh, those those of you who don't know, uh, we changed the par meter rental thing. I, I, we got to make it clearer because yeah, I, yeah, I saw yeah. how they did it. And I'm yeah. like, this is a crazy town. Uh, but wet tested. You know what we wanted to do was bring par meters so they were cheap to everybody, and then like we made this rental thing, and then like I don't know. You know what? I just. So, you know, wouldn't it be easier if we just allowed longer re open box returns of these those, things? yeah. Right? And so I think what they're doing right now is, like, you can, you know, buy a wet-tested uh, mm. par meter and return it for up to two months and pay, like, a 20% restocking fee yeah. or something like that. So, like, uh, you know what? Like, you can rent the thing. I don't know, maybe it's not even 20%. I don't know what it is. But, like... It's sort of like renting, but... Uh, you can keep it as long as you want It's not it. keeping it for... Yeah. Only you only get a week with it. You know, I think it'll actually be cheaper in the end. Mm. I, I don't know. We're still working on it a little bit, yep. but uh, wet tested did not convey you can return this easy. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go talk to those guys about well, it. Let's but show Mike the light setup real quick. Oh, go ahead. Uh, there's that little video you can tilt. Yeah, there we go. So here we used. Uh, he's gonna get it up just a second. Okay, so. Those, uh, we use those rails, uh, those are Ecotech rails. They were like 60, 60 inch ones. Okay, okay Ecotech mounted. rails are gonna go like off the chart because everybody's, I used, I ended up using the Ecotech rail for the Kessels as well. Oh yeah, that's they're right. Like, uh, those rails are just so convenient they're so for good. everything. Uh, they hide I think they're gonna well. be the foundation they do of great. all new lights. Well. <laughs> yeah, so one rail, three rails across the way, the middle rail, so there's a bracket built into your hood that had attachment points that just so happened to fit M5 screws that held the brackets that hold the rails. It was super clean. Yeah, it was uh, really and then easy. the Kessels, we, uh, did you drill that other one to fit the Kessels too? Uh, yeah, I ended up drilling a, a hole in it and uh, uh, 
And then if you use a spacer and an M5 screw and don't go into the castle f too far, you can get those to mount up real nice. Actually, I, uh, you just turned you that spacer. I just turned it sideways, and then when there was a knob on both sides, ah, it there was you go. really easy. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. Yeah, for me, this is this is the low maintenance dream setup. It does everything it could ever possibly need. Uh, the one thing I'll say for this application is it's, uh, a, of course, like everything in that whole room actually is a little overkill because <laughs> I'm only running these things at like 20%. Oh yeah. Right? Uh, <laughs> and so like, I mean, those, those, I'm really curious to see when we do the investigates in this guy is like, what's the total like price per par mm. thing? Cause the par on these things are, it's capable of a kick lot. Kick them up. Yeah. Yeah. I think what you're going to find too is it like, you know, they talked about the three feet thing. And like, I was thinking about a uh, 90 cube. Oh, wow. How one of these would probably do really well oh, on a I 30 bet. inch cube. Yeah. Right? Mm. And 90 is a 30 by 30. Yep. By, 30 by yeah. 30 by 25. Yeah. Well. And so uh, I, I think that might be like an ideal. You know, life. and you still get in it. That's my dream. That was my yeah, dream. I don't know, but too. it's enough par probably to fill the whole thing. You know, cool. Uh, yeah, like even at SPS numbers. <laughs> so uh, a little overkill from from that perspective, uh, but like you know, because I'm, I'm running so light, but because I'm running them so low, like they'll probably last for uh, last the tank they're on, which is great. <laughs> uh, you know, anyway. Uh, so I don't know. That's the beginning of the journey. So I, I don't know at the beginning. Uh, the like, I mean, we're like a year plus into this now. Yeah. This has been the slowest day of all time. <laughs> uh, a few more questions here, too. Uh, James wants to know, any thoughts on what you'll use to nourish these guys? Oh, yeah. So I, I'm doing a, a very specific thing. Mm. So one, uh, I decided to use the KZ, like, one, two, three, four. Yep. Right? So it's... I like it's trace elements, and then there's a food. Yeah, so there's two, two like reasons aminos. that uh, I'm using that one. Yeah, there's three trace element, like, color things, yep. and one amino thing. Uh, there's two reasons that I'm using it. Uh, one is, uh, a, like, honestly, I just want to use it so I can report back to you guys how it works. There you go. Right? Uh, because I actually asked for this from them because there's so many damn blue bottles yeah. in the universe. Like, uh, how do I supposed to know what ever to use? How do you tell anybody what to use? Like, well, <laughs> hey, man, use one, two, three, four. Like, why don't you just build a package, man, people could actually use, for God's sake. Yeah. And so we did that. Uh, and so they did that. And like, I, so I'm going to use that one. And I've been using it for months now, uh, even when we got those tester corals in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the amino acid meant I'm all the way in. So. I actually use also the LPS aminos on a daily basis, yep. and I use the coral vitalizer on a daily basis just because the coral vitalizer makes the polyps come out. <laughs> we were shooting a KZ video the other day, and you, you were saying that, no, this stuff actually works. Well, like, you know what's funny? It really, really works. I was reading the instructions on some, uh, like, uh, one of the little charts or whatever, and it's just like, it may work in three days. And I'm like, it did. <laughs> coral and vitalizer. Like, like, oh, man, like, you could actually see some of these polyps that were not out start coming out inside of three days of using this stuff. Train them, train them to a feeding response. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these corals don't have polyps out during the day. They only mm. eat on plankton and stuff at night. And so you got to kind of train them the fact that there's food out when there's light out, too. Awesome. Uh, so I don't know. It works. So I use those three things. Uh, and when I get a lot more food, uh, fish in there, I'm going to probably change up what I feed. But right now, it's just mysis, calanus, and then on the auto feeder, I have those oh, LG yeah. Extreme pellets because I got tangs in there. Mm -hmm. uh, and I definitely noticed what happened when I wasn't feeding them LG. And I hate putting my hand in the tank for the nori right, and right. the gold or the LG Having pellets to clean the clip that. and all this other stuff. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I'm feeding those things right now. I'll probably make my own, like, you know, homemade food. Uh, mm. And we're going to hone that down, by the way. Yep. Uh, but, like... Uh, so you have TDO and one auto feeder and algae pellets. Yep. Algae extra. So I, I feed during the day, and then at night I come home and I kind of make a lot of, like a slurry yep. of this stuff, okay. right? Uh, and, yeah, so that's what it, the one, two, three, four, it happens once a week. You pour, I, for me, I put already 80 milliliters of this stuff yep. in there once a week. I, I think I've shared this before. When I first bought it, I'm like, man, this is 200 bucks, dude, for this. But then after I got it home, I'm like, you know what? This is going to last, like, like, I don't know, man, six, seven months or yep. something. And I did the math on it. I'm like, you know what? In comparison to the coral in there, if I keep helping, this is free. <laughs> uh, you know, like, it's like 20 bucks a month, man. Uh, like, yeah. in comparison to what I'm keeping alive and, <laughs> and paying for. So uh, there's that. And then the vitalizer. The LPS amino every yep. day. Uh, just I just mix it in with the food, to be honest. And then I put the uh, uh, calanus and the mysis shrimp in, in there, and I kind of mix it all up 
take a little turkey baster and I like spread it around. See, high protein, see high who fat. likes see who likes it today. <laughs> uh, I don't know. So that's what I'm doing right now. Cool. Uh, Rob Biu says, where did you acquire some of those large colony sizes? Yeah, and so here here's the piece of it, man. Like they're not easy to find, uh, especially mm. on retail sites to to get bigger stuff. Yeah, because everybody likes to buy it and then break it up into eight million pieces yeah. and then sell it to, for a lot more. That so way. the wholesaler selling big. Yeah, pieces. and so this is the piece where uh, you know I'd love to give a plug to the guys over at Eye Catching and Route sixty six because they both have these things. Uh, and uh, uh, just to be straightforward, neither one of them gave me uh, any deals in this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> buy at full price, uh, but I also I'm really happy with what they sent me. So I'd love to send uh, some some uh, business their way. Awesome. So uh, ask your store is the answer. Tell your store, you know what I'm looking for big colonies, mm. uh, and uh, go to your supplier and ask for them. And if they're like, I can't get him, like, yeah, you can call up uh, Route 66 and I catch you corals because I'll get them to you. <laughs> Is that where um, your scolies and stuff came from, too? I think some of the larger Ghani colonies you got from, like, Jen, the local fish store. So I got a bunch of uh, stuff from Jen, She's too. She's got some big stuff in okay. her tanks, yeah. That was actually, too, one of the, like, I'll share this experience, yeah. too. Uh, I brought my kids there to buy some corals, and we brought and my wife and my kids there. And I actually hadn't been to a fish store to buy coral, and I can't remember. You know, I just like I don't, I don't know. All the people send them here, and we shop online, or whatever. Yep. And I'm like, man, I forgot how cool this was. Going in the and fish my, store. Watching my kids, like eyes just go like crazy over the like things that you, you and all of us have just like you desire but yeah, you don't have. It's a and... peppermint shrimp, dude. But like <laughs> and my kids love it, man. It's like, yeah. oh, it's upside down. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, like the uh, the goldie fish, mm. and like I mean, they're just. I and mean, then, like, my daughter's deciding which, which fish look happy and which ones are angry. <laughs> I, I don't know. The whole thing was just so magical. So thanks uh, to Janet and New Wave. Uh, for those of you who don't know, yeah. uh, Jen, uh, uh, one of the other, uh, uh, like, uh, I don't know what you call us. CRS TV personality. You see your I was going to call us actors, but that doesn't seem fitting. I don't know. <laughs> uh, personalities, uh, fish YouTube people. So yeah, Jen yeah, yeah. Uh, also a owns a store, store here. So if you're in town, man, go over. And actually, uh, you know what? Uh, she has an online thing, so you can go look oh, at yeah. her online thing too. Uh, it's just New Wave Shipping Aquaria. Yeah. I took my mom over there when uh, oh. they came into town from Montana. Okay. I'm so glad this came together. Okay. <laughs> okay. If you want big colonies, oh, there you go. Call Jen at New Wave Aquaria. She imports this stuff directly yeah. from uh, oh. Indonesia and all over the world. She will get you whatever you want. <laughs> there you go. Yes. And, and then, like, if she doesn't, don't hate on BRS. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. No, she will. She'll get you whatever you want. She filled out this entire tank. Yeah. So this tank, she instantanked inside of a weekend from her store. So, uh, and they're all big, huge things. So she can do it for you too. Uh, what a great opportunity to plug her. Yeah, uh, I don't awesome. know in her business. So uh, awesome. Uh, next ones. Uh, three more here. Mike says, uh, did you put blastos in the sand? Mm. They're on plugs, aren't they? Or little discs? Okay, so they're waiting to be mounted. Oh, okay. Uh, so some of the ones that Holding you saw pattern. in the sands are just kind of waiting there to uh, be mounted on some rock there. Have you thought of inverting them and mounting them upside down? I mean, that's taking in the shadows to a whole new level. <laughs> uh, I have not thought about that, but definitely I'm trying to, I, I got a bunch of different variants of them, and then I got too many, and the rock that I was going to put it on is not big enough, and I just haven't uh -huh. figured out what to do. So, yeah, some of them are in the sand at the moment. Uh, Anchor says the plate corals are unrepresented. Do you do you intend to add any? Yeah, you know what? I had a like a fungia yeah. or something, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. uh, fungia, and fungia, uh, fungia. it was one of the first that I got. Like a, it was like a it almost looks like a torch coral of its own kind, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, uh, and uh, it was a big one. And it took a total dump in shipping. It was like one of those ones where oh. I, I knew it wasn't going to make it because the water was all cloudy in there. Uh, and then I put it in the tank, it took a dump, and then I just decided, like, I'm gonna hold off on this for a second. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, yeah, I don't know. That, that'd be cool to add as well. Uh, last one here, AJ says, do you remember the par readings on the top and the bottom? So I, I was doing, following our, our plan here of, uh, uh, we say 75 to 150, but I'm really at like 50 to 150. Yeah. So yeah. you'll have places higher and lower. But I'm finding like the lower end of that is that actually turned out to be the best. Mm. Uh, I actually want to measure this one here. So yeah. I'll, I'll share that, that uh, maybe as well. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, 
I was shooting for somewhere between 50 and 150, depending. Sweet. All right. Well, there's the update. You get to see him. Uh, and uh, Follow on Facebook because he's going to be on vacation, and I bet he's going to be flooding the Facebook page with pictures, videos, and all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very that. excited about the whole thing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, well, I will see you live in like four weeks. Tell me what Randy does while I'm gone. <laughs> all right. See you guys. See ya.